A sucky bomb drops on the Green New Deal situation. You got Jen Psaki, White House press secretary, who has had a, a, some trouble with uh, circling back and the ums and the ahs and the ums. People are pointing out that if your job is to be the, communi- the, the primary user of the microphone for the, uh, for the White House and the West Wing, you should have a greater fluency of speech, perhaps. But nonetheless, here we are. And she's up there mostly getting what you would recognize very quickly as uh, very fluffy, friendly questions like, ah, is Joe Biden just totally in love with his dog or does he just think his dog is the greatest dog of all dogs? Just tell us. And that's what you're going to get from the press for four years, because they really think their job now is to assist the Biden administration to stay in power and get its policies done. Speaking truth to power is the opposite of what they think their jobs are. Well, let's all be very clear about that right now. Um, but occasionally there will be because there are still a, a, a few outlets left that have uh, some access and some credibility to ask real questions. And an example of that would certainly be Fox News and Peter Ducey, the new uh, White House correspondent for Fox News. And he got a lot of a lot of pushback from other journalists for asking this question. But this is an excellent question, because you've heard this many times. Whenever the Democrats get pushed into a corner on the jobs that are lost and the downside of their Green New Deal madness, they always go, Well, uh, you know, John Kerry will say uh, the uh, the energy workers uh, of, you know, I I spoke to my gardener and he said that he knows somebody who once was near somebody who was on an oil rig. And while we may cost that person their job making ninety thousand dollars a year with good benefits, uh, perhaps we can have them work in a Chinese solar assembly plant for 50 cents a day and save the planet. I mean, that's basically what they're telling you. Your job's gone, but don't worry, there's going to be some other Green New Deal job. It's going to be way better. The Green New Deal job's going to be way better for you. Okay, does the Green... Who pays, who pays rent in a few weeks? Does that... Imaginary Green New Deal job, pay for the jobs, uh, uh, pay for the, the rents of the people who lost their jobs because of this? No? Hmm. Peter Ducey, high five and a hat tip to him, asked Jen Psaki a very straightforward, very important question. Play two. When is it that the Biden administration is going to let the thousands of uh, fossil fuel industry workers, whether it's pipeline workers or construction workers, who are either out of work or will soon be out of work because of a Biden EO, uh, when it is and where it is that they can go for their green job? And that is something the administration has promised. Uh, There is now a gap. So I'm just curious when that happens, when those people can count on that. Well, I'd certainly welcome you to present your data of all the thousands and thousands of people who uh, won't be getting a green job. Maybe next time you're here, you can present that. But you said that they would be getting green jobs, so I'm just asking when that happens. Uh, Richard Trumka, who is a friend, longtime friend Mm -hmm. of Joe Biden, says about that day one Keystone EO, he says, I wish he, the president, had paired that more carefully with the thing that he did second by saying, here's where we are creating the jobs. So... There's partial evidence from Richard Trumka. Well, you didn't include all of his interview. Okay. Would you like okay. to include the rest? So, so how about this? Uh, the Laborers International Union of North America said the Keystone decision will cost 1,000 existing union jobs and 10,000 projected construction jobs. Well, what Mr. Trumka also indicated in the same interview was that President Biden has proposed a climate plan with transformative investments in infrastructure and laid out a plan that will not only create millions of good union jobs, but also help tackle the climate crisis yeah so like here's the thing like yes like you you like poor people with your union jobs on the keystone the icky the icky pipeline thing that makes all the the goo and the mess for the environment you're like totally going to like have this really nice like awesome green new deal job at some point in the future we just like don't know when But Biden's like totally smart and really smart about the the jobs. And there's going to be these Green New Deal jobs for you. So just like 
just like take a chill, you know? Yeah, I know the mortgage payments. Totally. It's really hard. But like, you know, that's that's the Biden administration on policy when it comes to energy in a nutshell. Sorry that we've done something based on ideological reasons that's absurd that are absurd in the first place. Oh, the world is melting climate change. Um, And it's going to really hurt people. Cost them jobs. They no longer have employ uh, employment. They no longer have salaries and benefits and can't feed their families, can't pay their bills at a time when the country is already suffering. At least some people in the country are suffering economically a lot. But they they defer the political backlash to this by saying. Oh, don't worry. We're going to get you this awesome other job soon. We're going to get you this awesome other job any day now. Really? Is is that what's going to happen? They're going to get them an awesome job any day now? Huh. And they brought up the uh, the Trump interview. This guy's a big, big union boss. And here's what he actually said back in the first days after the Biden inauguration, when the first thing Biden does gets rid of the Keystone XL pipeline. And can I just r- remind everybody, the Keystone XL pipeline is is in most people's minds being canceled because or was canceled by Biden because of climate change and the need to combat CO2 emissions. Every analysis of the Keystone XL pipeline done by independent uh, agencies, by by scientists, by everyone who's looked at it, including the State Department under the Obama administration, said that canceling the Keystone XL pipeline would result in greater overall CO2 emissions. The oil still comes out of the ground. It still gets burned for use in fossil fuels. But now it will be even more costly and more CO2 intensive to transport the oil. But they convinced a lot of ignorant people, a lot of, yeah, I just like want all the trees to breathe the fresh air and like not have the CO2. But wait, don't trees take in CO2? I get so confused. Uh, and they, they, they wanted to make those people, the environmentalists left, feel like they got a win and this was an easy win. So shut, shut it down. This is just pure emotion and ideology. Shut it down. Now, with that established, here is Richard Trumpka explaining exactly what this means. Well, what happens to the thousands of jobs? Play eight. I wish you hadn't done that on the first day because the Labor's International was right. It did and will cost us jobs in the process. If I wish he had paired that more carefully uh, with uh, the, the thing that he did second by saying, here's where we're creating jobs. We can do mine reclamation. We can fix leaks and we can fix seeps and create hundreds of thousands of jobs in doing all of that stuff. Do you think Biden realizes that that was a mistake, that announcement? I, I think so, yes. <laughs> so that's the interview. I'm I'm just saying, you know, there's Richard Trump, a big union guy who's like, uh, they can promise a lot of things. I mean, I just want to know if I if I walked into your office, your your place of work, your place of business, wherever that was. And I said, hey, I'm from the Biden administration. We're going to fire you today, but we're like totally going to give you this awesome green job at some point in the future. We don't know where. We don't know what your salary will be, and we don't know when, but you're like, totes going to have this awesome Green New Deal job, so just don't worry about it. How would you feel? Would, would you feel like that's a, that's a fair, a fair trade-off? It's a, a good thing to present to you? Of course not. If someone showed up to me and said, yeah, you know, your whole media career and all this stuff, that's going to go away, but we are totally going to hook you up with a job at a solar power plant at some point. They, oh, you don't know it. You've never worked in a solar. Power? It's going to be great. You know, they have them in China and people are loving the manual labor they have to do day in and day out at those assembly lines for very low pay. So it'll be great here, too. It'll be really high paying jobs. Don't worry. Oh, you have no skills in that area. Well, you'll develop some, you know, maybe learn to code or something. I don't know. Just shut up. We're saving the planet. That's the that's the real logic of the argument here that's how it works that's how it unfolds i think that's a problem i think that that shows how disconnected the democrat party really is from people who are actually in the working class they don't care when they lose their jobs they don't care about the suffering that they have 
And we have to hold them to account for this because there are only a few people. And as I said, props to uh, Peter Ducey. There are only a few people that even have the access and the willingness to ask real questions of the government. The answer to the question, what happens to people who lose their jobs because of the climate change mania of Biden and the Democrats is they don't have green jobs to give them. That's the real answer. You lose your job and maybe one day we'll get you some other job. And in the meantime, tough for you, union workers. That's what the Democrat Party is actually saying without saying it. Got to save the planet. Sorry. Yeah, we have like all the great green jobs, though, and they're like so green and like you're just going to love them. Mm, I don't think Saki bombs winning over a lot of union guys with that one. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.